The Republican National Convention is underway in Milwaukee after opening today. Joining us to talk about that and other political news from Milwaukee is Fox 5 Washington correspondent John Decker. John, a lot happened since this weekend in the attempt on President, former President Trump's life. What's been the mood at the convention since Saturday's assassination attempt? completely different mood here at the convention than what existed here in Milwaukee yesterday or on Saturday when the mood was so subdued, uh, understandably so after that assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. Today, just a jubilant crowd, especially when Donald Trump made a surprise appearance here in the convention hall, showed up uh, around 9 p.m. and just uh, I think the crowd erupted when they saw him uh, enter the, the hall to the tune of Lee Greenwood's uh, Proud to be an American. And so that was a big moment. Uh, the, the crowd here is very excited, very confident that Donald Trump and his new running mate can win the election in November. And we showed folks that on Fox 5 News at 7 when the former president made his way into the convention hall. And John, uh, the former president Trump has named Ohio Senator J.D. Vance as his running mate. Why do you suppose Trump went with Vance and what does he bring to the ticket? I think he went with Vance because he has a comfort level with Vance that he didn't have with the other potential running mates that he was considering. And comfort is really important, not only in terms of running for the White House, but if you win, also in terms of governing. He likes J.D. Vance's background. He likes the fact that he's not a career politician. He's only served two years in the U.S. Senate. His background is actually in finance. He served his country in uniform. He's been a U.S. Marine. Uh, he's from the Rust Belt. All of those things appeal to Donald Trump, and he believes that it will be beneficial to the ticket in terms of trying to win over Joe Biden and Kamala Harris in November. And there is more good news for the former president. A federal judge in Florida has dismissed the classified documents case against Trump. And, John, you are a lawyer, so explain why the judge made this decision and what comes next in the case. Judge Aileen Cannon made the determination in this 93-page opinion that the appointment of Jack Smith, the special counsel, was unconstitutional. Uh, and as a result, she has essentially thrown out this case. Now, Jack Smith, the special counsel, put out a statement today uh, saying that he intends to appeal this decision. The appeal would go to the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals. And whoever loses at that level uh, would likely appeal that decision all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. All of that takes time. But what it all means is that the classified documents case against Donald Trump in South Florida uh, will likely be delayed. And that trial will not get underway before the November 5th election. All right, John Decker for us in Milwaukee tonight. John, thanks for staying up late, and we'll check in with you and your team as the Republican National Convention rolls along this week. Thanks again. Thank you.